Communication builds communities. Whether you want to improve your internal communication of your organization teams, or the way that you interact with external stakeholders, or even the way your internal and your external communication coordinates together for customer service, your success as a business or an organization depends on effective communication. And one of the most common ways that people communicate is with their smartphones and smart devices, but not just by using voice. Our phones now have texting, group collaboration apps, and social media apps. All of these ways to communicate may open opportunities for us, but unless we unify them, we run the risk of creating isolated islands of conversations. The saying that the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing comes to mind when we think of this. We want to avoid this fragmented communication and bring it all into one connected space. But what's the solution? In this video, I'm going to share the solution with you. Hello, my name is Frank and here on Learning and Technology with Frank, we look at ways that we can use technology to learn, teach and be more productive. Becoming more productive in the way we communicate has evolved greatly over the years. In years past, we would have separate systems, even separate networks, for specific types of communication. We'd have a separate network for the phone system, another for data, and so on. These networks were converged technically some years ago. For example, allowing our voice networks to run on our IP data networks as voice over IP or VoIP, but we still had fragmented tools running on top of these unified networks. Each type of communication had its own apps, had its own way of working. What we really needed was a complete solution that allowed us to combine our voice, our texting, and our team applications in a way that allowed them to not just run on the same network, but to work together in a unified manner. And this is what Nextiva does. They invited me to try their platform and test it so that I could share what I found here with you. And in this video, I'll show you three aspects of Nextiva. First, we'll take a look at the front end of Nextiva 1. It's the unified interface that your team members would use to communicate. Then, I'll show you the back end administration and how it's both easy to set up and administer but also how it's powerful and loaded with a lot of features that we can introduce into our communication systems to get a lot of value from it. And then finally, I'll show you some incredible reporting, monitoring, and analysis tools that let us not just manage the platform, but to grow our communication and ensure that we're getting the most from it. Now, let's start with what your team members will see on their computer, their phone, and even through a web interface. You can use many different devices with Nextiva. It's a cloud native app, which means that you can just go through a web browser and have a full communication portal that way. Or you can download the Mac app or the Windows app. You can download the iOS app for your iPhone or an iPad. You can download the Android app for Android phones or tablets. And it works with all different types of VoIP phones. So you can just plug them in and they'll auto configure and you can start using it right away. Here I have Nextiva for Windows open and you can see that I'm able to look at all of the communication inbound, outbound calls, messages, team communication. So I can look at all calls, my voicemails, messaging, everything in one place. I can also have team collaboration where I can have my favorites marked. I can set up rooms for collaboration and communication and we can have team chats all in one interface. Over here on the right hand side, I have my quick actions where I can go in and I can do things like place a call, I can send a message, add business contacts, maintain all my contacts, and work with meetings as well, both starting a meeting and scheduling a meeting for the future. Now I can also go in and import contacts here. I can work with my calendar. I can go in and have different types of attachments that are part of my communication. And one of the things that's really interesting is I can go in and integrate this with existing commu uh, communication tools that I have, like my Google Calendar, my Outlook Enterprise, and things like even importing from a CSV files my different contacts and such. So it does give me the ability to really build this one place for communication. I can also reduce the size of it by uh, pressing the button and bringing it down 
into a condensed view where I still get all of the same information, but I could have this window on my computer while I'm working with it. And then of course I can have it on a portable device or a VoIP phone as well. Now this ease of use makes the platform adoption very more likely so people will actually use it. And this is a big win if you're building out your communication system. It needs to be something that people will actually use where they are, phone, computer, or through the web. Now at the same time, we want to make sure that as an administrator, we have a strong set of tools that we can use. So let's take a look at the administrative backend of Nextiva. Now as a former system administrator that used to have to manage thousands of telephone extensions, I always like a good administrative interface that lets me get my job done easily. And Nextiva has a fantastic interface. I'm able to go in and make all of the changes you'd expect, like my company locations. I can set schedules for when phones are active or when we're out of hours. I can do things like manage my licensing and my billing. I can set up my users and integrate it with things like Active Directory so I can have single sign-on. I can set up my Teams roles and permissions to see who's allowed to do what but there's a few things that are very very useful and one of the things I really like is the ability to create voice workflows there's a lot to the administration of Nextiva that's easy to use as an interface but there's a lot of power behind it so I won't show you absolutely every feature but when I look at the voice I can look at my call activity I can take a look at the number of users I have I can work with my phones and devices for example if I have VoIP phones I can can bring those VoIP phones into the environment easily. I can assign numbers. I can work with transferring numbers as well. So if I have existing numbers that I want to bring into my Nextiva communication environment, I can start those transfers. But here's something really cool called call flows. One of the biggest challenges that I always had when I was setting up a PBX, a private branch exchange, is setting up the way that the phones behaved. What I mean by that is when somebody dialed into a number, was it during business hours? If it was during business hours, where did it go? If it was outside of business hours, where did it go? Who was it routed to? And you'll be familiar with this as a user of phone systems where when you dial in it says press 1 for sales, press 2 for service. But here I can go in and I can easily create these types of flows. So when I create a flow in Nextiva, I'll choose a phone number and in my case, I'm just going to skip the assignment of a phone number here and I'll just set up a workflow that I can then use uh, as a demonstration here. So I can add actions so when a phone number rings, I can go in and choose what I'd like to do next. So the first thing I could do is maybe check the schedule and see whether or not the business hours are open or closed. I could use an existing schedule if I've already created them, or I can create a new schedule, and maybe we'll call this uh, West Coast Hours. And what we can do here is then set the hours for my West Coast op office. So it'll be in, located in, let's make this one in, uh, we'll go ahead and make that Pacific time. And I can say this is a location, and I can say that we're open from 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. But of course I can change that. I can set holidays in here, add those into my schedule. And once I've got my schedule, I can then decide on what actions occur when I'm open and when I'm closed. And I can continue to go through and add actions around phone menus, users, teams, schedules, whether I want to send it to voicemail, whether I want to transfer the call out to someone, and I can set all different types of call flows by using this nice visual interface to do so. So I won't build up an entire call flow here, but you can build this up for your organization quite easily without having to go in and program or work with something that's more complex. This is very robust, very powerful, but also very intuitive to set up an administrative workflow. So you can do much more as well. You can work with messaging, you can import data. And another nice thing about the Nextiva is that if I would like to deploy to all of my users, I can actually download the installer as an MSI, Microsoft installer file, and deploy it out to all my Windows machines quite easily. 
You can also use mobile device management tools to deploy out onto mobile devices like phones and such, but that's beyond the scope of this video. If you're interested in more details on that, comment down below. But the point here being, I've got a great administrative console, easy to use, but incredibly powerful and robust. Having your system all set up and users benefiting from it is great, but how do we know that we're actually getting the most value from it? By generating reports, monitoring the way it's being used, and then using analytics so that we can look for ways to help users and improve the way they use our system, including some very useful tools like gamification. Let's take a look at the reporting, the monitoring, and the analysis. Nextiva has some really incredible reporting tools to let me know what's happening with my system and to do analysis. If I go into my admin center up to the waffle icon here and I go into my analytics, I have three choices for analytics. I can take a look at reporting, I can monitor, and I can analyze what's happening. I can customize this and I can save it, I can set certain parameters, and I can do a quality check. But the three main things I will do are reporting, monitoring, and analyzing what's happening with my system. For reporting, what will happen is it'll tell me information like the number of calls that are inbound, outbound, international, domestic, so I can get a lot of good information on what location is making phone calls, which users are making phone calls. I can take a look at user activity, specific phone numbers, total calls in general, and this gives me a lot of a data that I can then use to understand what's happening with my environment and what I might need to do to improve it or to provide more services in different parts of it. Now I can go into monitoring, which will allow me to go through and again, see which users are working in the environment, whether they're receiving calls and sending calls. I can do things like create wall boards on here that will allow me to see things like total calls. This can be useful if I want to share this with anyone that's wondering what's happening with my, my call centers. I can take scorecards, so I can take a look at average talk time, inbound, outbound again. And one of the fun things that I can do is gamification. So let's say, for example, I'm building a phone system for sales. I can see who is making the most calls, who is working uh, the phone lines more, more effectively, so to speak. And I'm glad to see that I'm number one. I won't show you who's number two and three. I, I wouldn't want to embarrass them. But I can also go in and create customizations in here as well. So I can create different types of items in my own custom dashboard. So you can go and create different types of call types and gamification in here. You really have a lot of power to, to monitor what's happening. Now, analytics also allows me to look at different trends that are happening. Am I seeing an increase in call volume in terms of inbound, outbound, again, international? Am I getting more international? By what percentages am I growing? And I can set date ranges for this, so it's great for month-end analytics, for example. And again, all of the things where I can look at uh, these by location and call groups and user activities. So having the ability to see what's happening with my phone system, of course, makes it a lot easier to manage and, and control what's going on, both from a you know, security standpoint or a financial standpoint, but also from a growth standpoint to see how my unified communications is allowing me to take advantage of Nextiva and all of the features it has. So building our communities through consolidated and unified communication is something that Nextiva supports. You can check them out for yourself and I'll put a link in the description of the video. Let me know if you wanna see even more cool features that we can do with Nextiva in terms of creating workflows of communication and really taking it to the next level. Comment down below on the things that you're interested in seeing. Thank you so much for watching.